Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm with a new Honda HRV 2022 model and in this video I will try to review it. Actually I have the car inside a showroom. The next time when I will be able to see it probably will be in Zurich showroom or in February. So uh, it's not the perfect condition for a video. The light is really bad and I try my best to, to still show you the car and to give you some technical data. I hope the video will be useful i will try my best let me start with the technical data and then we will go forward i will try to go outside a little bit i will show you also the interior and then we will try to end up this video by the way guys i'm right here in switzerland at blue you can check them out at autoblumier.ch i will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car if you want to see it in the future check them out guys let's start with the technical data the car come with free uh, version guys uh, elegance advanced and advanced style this version that i have it with me it's advanced it's the middle range version also this version didn't come with a special extra sound speaker and that you will see in the trunk because you have a little bit more trunk than on the advanced style advanced style come with extra sound system and then the trunk will be also a little bit smaller the car come with the same hybrid system that also honda jazz have it if you didn't see that video i already have the videos on my channel review test drive with honda jazz now it comes with a 1.5 liter petrol engine combined with two electric motors the power of the car it's 131 horsepower it's a little bit more where honda jazz has 100 this hrv has 131 horsepower the maximum speed of the car it's 170 kilometer those are the official information guys so the 0 to 100 10.7 seconds consumption 5.4 liters also also CO2 emission combined 122 CO2 grams then most important the ground clearance 18.8 centimeters for those of you that are interesting it's an SUV so this is really important information and then turning radius 11.3 meters the tank volume 40 liters the weight of the car it is 1380 or 1400 kilograms for those of you that are interested in those kind of information and then the price of the car at least here in Switzerland uh, on this model that I have it with me it start at 36,900 francs I will add the price in dollar as well uh, and the full option version uh, it's 39,900 francs and the entry level 33,900 francs so you can see right here maybe you can pause the video and see it really well also the car come with 18 inch rims something to keep in mind and it comes with a beautiful color it's a white color it's a pearl white but it's beautiful anyway those are the information that i have it for you guys for the moment also i will make another video more complex with more technical data but yeah let's start the review let's go uh, inside here and i want to start with the interior of the car before we go outside and i actually want to start up here uh, on the roof you have the quality on the roof it's somehow in the middle range it's not premium but it's it's okay i should say then you have a handle here you have also a mirror with a light this is not led it's a normal bulb light but it's okay better than nothing then you have led lights up here guys that's something to keep in mind let me leave it open and then you have a big huge mirror and also the visibility in the mirror in the back there it's relatively good because you have big windows visibility also around the windows it's a huge window here and you have great visibility uh, around the car also in the back there great great visibility a little bit on the pillar you have kind of a blind spot technology in the corners but you have a reverse camera so you can uh, worry about that also the reverse camera comes standard you can see also the seats in the back here you have a leather soft material I like it it's not adjustable it stay fixed and you have some storage space here very useful two cup holders right here this is the key by the way it's a simple key very similar with the other key from uh, Honda I will show you also with the key you can lock and unlock the car it's a keyless entrance and also you can open the trunk automatically then you have electronic handbrake i love that and also auto hold then you have downhill assist and then from driving modes let me start the engine here's the power button let me start the engine guys let me put this on here and then let me show you from here you have three different driving modes so let me show you the car is still charging you have a uh, econ normal and sport mode but you have also a very nice graphic let me, Après deux kilomètres, let me this. yes check this out 
you have a nice graphic there on the screen. I like very much this new digital cockpit. It's, it's super, super awesome. Uh, we will talk about that in a second. Here is the gear shifter, gear selector, I should say. And you have also this typical, if you go in reverse, guys, uh, you will see that the car comes standard with this camera. And the resolution is very good. And also you have more views to choose from. So it's really interesting. I like it. Going forward, here you have a big space where you can put your phone and also you have a 12 volt port there. If I'm not wrong, on the full version, you have a wireless charging in this area. Also, you have another space up here, not sure if you can see it, where you can put your phone. You have two USB ports, normal two USB 2. And then up here, you have this climatic system that look gorgeous and also work really, really good. That's something that I noticed. It's awesome. Also, something new that come on the car, it's from here you can control where to go the, the, the air. For example, if you put it like this, the air will come here. But if you don't want the air in your face, for example, you can switch this to go here on the side. And then the air will go around you so it will not hit your face. This is very useful feature to be honest and here you close it completely down so really interesting I like that I like this new feature great visibility on the new cockpit on the multimedia system very easy to access all the buttons and even down here it's it's very nice array and simple on the on the cockpit keep in mind that you have plastic here in this area plastic plastic and also here I like very much the way they design this area there look at this it's very hard to, to show you, I tell you, the, the light is super bad. Let me close the climatic system now. Here you have soft material in this area. And this here is also soft material. So the only plastic is on the upper side there in the back. Now you have also some nice chrome here. Here you have a glow box that's relatively big in my opinion, really big. You don't have a light there, but the glow box is big. Also here you have some soft material, but down here you have a plastic. Um, and you can see, yeah, the quality, it's, it's okay, not the best, but it's fine. For the price, I think it's, it's just fine. Going to the multimedia system, I will have also a separate video about multimedia system. I like the way they integrate it. It's a bigger screen and it's much more responsive than what was before. And I like that. Super, super responsive. Uh, you have also some physical shortcut button here on the side, the volume knob. I like the background light. I like also this shortcut button down here, navigation, phone. FM, Bluetooth, DAP, and uh, the, the brightness of the screen. Also the navigation, it's much better and much more responsive. I also tried and it works really, really good. I like it very much. Very nice view here on the side that show you exactly on which road sh you should stay. Anyway, go back to home. Here you have all apps. So the most, kind of the most important information are here, FM, app installer, you have also here FM, general settings, Honda Center messages, system update. And then if you go to general settings, you can change on the system, the language, the date and time, volume, and yeah, all that things go back from here. You have the sound system here and then connectivity, the cameras, the voice command. Then here you have navigation, phone, FM, that you already see it, connection. Yeah, by the way, guys, you can connect your Android phone and Apple phone uh, wireless to the car. I have a separate video about that. Check it out on my channel. General settings, you already see it. Another important, it's uh, vehicle settings, where you have all the settings of the car. For example, the tire pressure, uh, system safety system here you can turn it on and off uh, it comes with a lot of safety features like blind spot technology lane assist uh, they come standard traffic reading sign so the car can read the traffic speed limit also adaptive cruise control it's cool i will show you also those meter here you have also some kind of settings you can see you can reset trip a consumption and fuel efficiency alarm volume stuff like that Anyway, keyless access, here you have also the information about that. Light setup, here you can set up your light the way you want to have it. Interior light, exterior light, door setup. And then here you have the power tailgate setup. And then going back to uh, here, the last page is with manual. Also, you can choose the screen, message, clock and installer. So a trip computer, you have it here. So yeah, it's not super complex, but it's simple and it works much better than before. And for that reason, I like it. I really like it. And also you have a good visibility from here. It's simple, it's the way it should be uh, on a car in this price range. 
anyway going to the steering wheel great grip leather steering wheel have some pedals to change the gear kind of manual if you want to uh, but the car as you probably know it comes with no gear box it's kind of a cvt uh, it's work directly the power go directly to the wheels and that's awesome but the engine will stay a little bit like in higher rpm a little bit noisier but it's fine here on the steering wheel guys you have the controls that you see already you can control there at the screen the digital cockpit the digital cockpit i think it's one of the most beautiful in a honda ever and you can customize in many ways you can see a lot of information there on the screen and you can customize from the steering wheel here on the left side safety and stuff like that seat belt system alarm i also have a video about that also you can see the navigation but not the full map just the directions you have radio you have the consumption here the range and fuel power floating and power charging anyway i hope you get some uh, idea about that uh, here are the controllers also the volume the voice command and then on the right side you have also heated steering wheel heated seat by the way the car comes with heated seat uh, i don't know if you can see it here on the uh, climatic system uh, climatic system work also super super nice i love the climatic system uh, then here you have also the control for uh, lane assist adaptive cruise control and all that safety features yeah overall it's quite nice also you can adjust the steering wheel up down forward backwards super super simple from behind the steering wheel there also you have some buttons here on the side where you can open the trunk uh, you have also the traction control on and off you have defrosted windscreen by the way that's awesome feature and also uh, the parking sensors and this button if you press it here this button here it's for all the safety feature you can activate and deactivate it super simple from there so super awesome i think i show you almost everything inside the seats are a combination fabric material and leather on the side you have side support they are quite comfortable they are big enough and they are simple and nice and if i stay here i, I can tell you that are comfortable enough to drive here and also you can adjust it manually it has manual adjustment that's something to keep in mind but you have so many adjustments that you don't have to worry also great visibility in the mirror it comes with uh, blind spot technology in the corner and they are so big the mirrors are huge guys i mean you have a wonderful visibility in the mirrors let's adjust the seat because i want to go in the back and i want to show you how much space we have in the back and also i want to stop the engine for a second here you have soft material that's nice on the on the front door here you have also some kind of a soft material but different material than this one then you have the chrome design here you have leather on the armors that's great because you can rest your arm without any problem then you have the buttons for electric windows here lock and unlock electric windows adjustment also you can fold the mirrors without any problem then you have some storage space down here and you have also the speaker um, in the front i think you can see it right now right there i forget to tell you something guys the doors quality is just phenomenal i mean it's like an like a mercedes you can hear it out the doors are amazing and also the handle of the door is just crazy let me go outside to show you so the handle guys it's just incredible the quality is it's awesome and also you can lock and unlock the car by having your finger right here super simple just have the key with you but uh, the way they add these rubbers around here and here and here make the doors super high quality also on the down part here you have this protection down here it's awesome quality it's awesome also i like this glossy plastic down here in this area it looks awesome this glossy plastic around the wheels of the car probably we will see a lot of scratches in the future on this glossy plastic but yeah it's relatively fine the car come with 18 inch rims as i tell you nice rims they fit quite nice on the car ventilated brake discs in the front the ground clearance 18.8 .8 centimeters it's quite high I like that and also in the back the car come with the brake discs not ventilated brake discs and yeah it's look relatively fine it's kind of a coupe crossover i should say in terms of design anyway look look wonderful the mirror are also nice and big as i said before in the same color as the car also around the windows here you have kind of a black mat and um, i don't know if you notice but the back door have a different handle just like that and also the quality on the back door it's very good you can hear the way it's closed it's awesome and i like when you open it 
it's open directly with this plastic here. So if you hit something, you can change only these plastics and then you have a brand new door, I should say. The color, it's wonderful, but I forget the name. It's a white pearl. It looks gorgeous. Also here in the back, you have big windows. Let me go inside. But the difference from the front door, you have a big entrance, big door, quite long door. On the upper side, you have plastic. Here you have this nice kind of soft material, chrome design, leather, soft material handle, electric window, some glossy plastic. Then you have the speaker and you don't have any storage here in the door. So that's the downside. Other than that, big, huge entrance in the car, a lot of space here in the back. You will see when I go inside how much space you have. It's super, super spacious. The same story, same fabric material seats with leather here. Uh, on the side also you have some plastic here. I wish they somehow extend these seats a little bit more. You have Isofix for child. You can install two child seats here. Uh, but other than that, you have side support. The middle seats, it's a little bit higher. I will show you when you go inside. Here in the middle, you have two cup holders, leather. And yeah, this is the space behind the front seats, leather storage space here we have two vents two usb ports some storage space here and i love the fact that you don't have a transmission tunnel it's super small and let me show you some something cool you can also put your seats like this look at this guys okay look how cool is that sorry about that it's really hard to do it with one hand this is typical for honda you don't find this only in a honda it's really unique and you can carry so many things right here in this way. It's super practical. I love that. Really, I like that, guys. Anyway, let me go inside. Going inside the car, very easy. Close the door. Also, the sound insulation is very good. The people here around, they talk outside and if I'm inside, I cannot hear anything. I'm 173 centimeters and you can see on my head, I have four fingers here. It's not super, super spacious in the back, almost four fingers. Uh, but in terms of legs, it's, it's huge. I mean, the legs room, it's incredible. And also I can stretch my legs under the front seat. It's incredible how much space I have on the legs. And also the visibility outside the windows, it's phenomenal. Going in the middle, super easy. But here I have no space. I'm, I'm, I'm already up there because the seat is a little bit higher. Also on the legs, plenty of space plenty of space and yeah that's it on the left side a lot of space right side a lot of space I, i'm amazed the shape of the window allow you to have perfect visibility outside the window so that's awesome handle hook here you have an led light with touch awesome they actually have two there's it's incredible i love it i love how much space you have here on the legs room Anyway, guys, also the dashboard design, you can see it one more time. It's simple and nice. Sorry about that, guys. I try to make it short. I try to make it fast uh, in order to show you the car. It's, it's, I don't have so much time with it. Let's go outside. Automatic lift gate in the back. Super simple. This is the entrance, quite big entrance. 320 liters here, around there. Um, it's not a big trunk. For, for an SUV for this class, but it's relatively good. Uh, you have some storage space here in the left side. If you get the full option version here, it will be a speaker. So you will not have this storage space, but now in this middle range version, you have this storage space. You have an LED light, some hooks, LED lights. I like those lights. They are super, super useful. Some storage space hooks in every corner. And yeah, this is the trunk guys. Also under the trunk, you have a small space here relatively small so yeah it's quite quite okay relatively good also i like the fact that this one stay here the buttons to close the trunk are also here so yeah this is the storage you can also fold down the seats and i like the fact when you fold down the seats i like the fact that the seats are completely flat so from this point of view it's just awesome really really awesome the point of view of space guys maybe it's not the most spacious in this class. Maybe you can compare it with the Renault Arcana, for example, uh, in my opinion, but it's very practical because you have this flat floor and in my opinion, it's, it's just awesome. I wanna go on the side, I wanna show you also here. You can see it has an intelligent system that you find it also on Honda Jazz, for example, where the seat is going completely down on the floor. You can see right here, you don't have so much space in this area, but 
This allows the seats to go completely flat and it's one of the, the unique cars that can do that, that, that it's able to have a flat floor here. And in my opinion, it's a, it's a great practical thing. Let me close the trunk from here, automatic. Um, let's talk a little bit about the lights and about the exterior design of the car. Lovely exterior. In terms of design, I love the exterior design of the car. I think it's much beautiful than Renault Arcana, for example. It's one of the most beautiful in this uh, class. So I like it. The design, it's, it's super, super nice. Also the front design, it's awesome. This new grille here look wonderful. And also you have full LED lights, the turning signals, it's, it's uh, following turning signals. Also you have four parking sensors in the front. You have here a fog lamp that is also LED light. I will try to open to show you. Also you have some air intakes down here uh, that, go, that allow the air to go around uh, the car. Also down here you have the grill, the radar for adaptive cruise control, it's down here. Also you have the Honda logo in the middle. Uh, going on this side, I wanna show you the air come outside here and then it comes inside down here so that's that's a smart thing and also let me turn on the fog lamps yes right now they are on let me show you the fog lamps even the fog lamps down here are full led lights so front design it's it's wonderful really also the hood here with the lines it's just just super super nice anyway up here you have some cameras for lane assist uh, reading the traffic speed limit. Also, uh, you have the sensors for the light and rain. Also, the windscreen is defrostable, so you can heat it up in the winter. The mirror, big mirrors, LED lights, turning signals here. Also, you have the, the blind spot technology in the corner, the handles you already see it. And in the back here, talking about the lights, they look wonderful in my opinion. Actually, everything is LED this time. You don't have any bulb light, any halogen light here, and you have kind of a three-dimensional shape. It looks just wonderful. And also I like this light bar that goes across all the back of the car. You have LED lights on the number plate, reverse camera, it's here, four parking sensors in the back, some glossy plastic, some chrome, some light reflectors. Here is the exhaust pipe under the car. You have here EHEV, so it's a hybrid version. And then you have also here leathers from HRV. A wiper, defrosted windscreen, roof spoiler here. Very nice design, very nice lines. Also you have the radio antenna in the same color as the car. And overall, it's a beautiful design in the back. It's kind of a coupe here, that's why you don't have so much space on the, on the head, because it looks a little bit like coupe. And remind me, the, the design remind me a lot of uh, Renault Arcana, but it's, it's much better uh, design and also the quality of the materials are a little bit better than on the Arcana. That's the exterior guys, sorry for the rush. Uh, I, will, I will remake this video as soon as I can. And yeah, I hope it was useful anyway. Lovely car with a good price, but the front of the car in my opinion is the, is the most beautiful. I don't know, what do you think guys? Anyway, that was the video. Let's go inside to, to close it up. Yeah, the, the quality on the doors is, they are wonderful, wonderful car, wonderful quality. Anyway, that was the video guys. Super hard work to do this video here inside. I have to stop it. There are so many people that comes and go, uh, but I hope you get some information from this video. I hope it was useful for you guys. Thank you for watching my videos. Really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, ask me down below, whatever you want, uh, whatever question you have. I will remake this video as soon as I can. Also, the test drive will come soon. Yeah, as soon as I get uh, the car outside, I will do it, uh, probably uh, in a few weeks. But I'm not sure about that. It's very hard with those semiconductors and all that uh, chip shortage problem. It's super hard sometimes to get the car these days anyway i hope you enjoyed i hope you get some useful information ask me anything you want because i have so many things in the head uh, that probably i didn't add it in the video but anyway thank you guys don't forget to check out the link in the description uh, if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car in the future i will leave the link in the description to auto blunier in switzerland also guys if you have questions ask me down below whatever you want don't forget to subscribe like share thank you for watching i really appreciate that 
stay safe guys don't forget to check out our website sdadancar.com you find a lot of videos and articles about car and auto industry thank you for watching stay safe see you soon in the next one bye guys